now that the last Kingdom movie has finally been released, we have to unfortunately say goodbye to the world of the last Kingdom and Uhtred and his trusty comrades Finnan and Citric. But while we might not ever see a historical TV show as epic as The Last Kingdom again for a while yet, here are 5 TV shows that I think all fans of The Last Kingdom will really enjoy and in some ways they may even be better TV shows overall. But before we begin, don't forget if you love anything to do with historical TV shows then subscribe to my channel History Spark. And number 5 it is Vikings which follows the rise of Ragnar Lothbrok from a lowly farmer to a king and an eventual legendary figure in Viking history. If you can mentally convince yourself that Vikings finished at season 4 with the death of Ragnar then it puts forth a very strong argument that Vikings is a TV show that is as good if not better than The Last Kingdom. The first few seasons which saw the exploration of new lands and kingdoms by Vikings the start of religious tensions between Christians and pagans and the development of Ragnar from an ambitious farmer to a troubled and conflicted king are some of the best TV that has ever been produced. So if you are a fan of The Last Kingdom and haven't seen Vikings yet, it should be on the top of your watch list on Amazon Prime Video. And number 4 we have Black Sails, a TV show that is based around pirates at Providence Island and it is a prequel to the popular novel Treasure Island. This show has a cast of fascinating and morally great characters similar to Game of Thrones or The Last Kingdom and that makes Captain Flint and his crew an amazing set of characters to watch and see develop. Pirates are some of the most interesting and popular figures in history but for some reason there has been a limited number of pirate based TV shows that have made it into mainstream popularity. So I'm really glad that Black Sails got developed and I believe this will be a fantastic watch for any fan of The Last Kingdom and a TV show that I feel is so unique and different from any other historical drama that has been created so far. And number 3 it is My Country, A New Age, a South Korean historical drama which takes place at the tail end of the Goryeo dynasty and the beginning of the Joseon dynasty. And the story is focused around a set of three friends from different walks of life who have to make great sacrifices to protect their country and the ones they love. There is also a secondary storyline which has many parallels to the journey of Uhtred and his many attempts to reclaim Bebenberg. And this storyline follows the plot of Yi Bang Wan who does everything in his power to legitimize his place as the heir to the Joseon dynasty. Just like nothing could stop Uhtred from reclaiming Bebenberg, that is the same passion shared by Yi Bang Wan to secure what he believes is his rightful destiny. So if you're looking for a show that has several great plot lines, a central character with strong and fierce comrades beside him and great fight scenes and hand to hand combat as well, then my country a new age is my recommendation for you. The second spot on this list goes to Borgia, a historical TV show based around several key figures from the House of Borgia such as Lucrezia, Cesare and Rodrigo Borgia. The Borgia family are some of the most notorious figures in history and with such interesting characters to portray, this show does a fantastic job of gripping audiences with a storyline that is fast paced, interesting and full of lots of plot twists. I will however admit that I hated the strong American accent that the Pope has and it does feel severely out of place but you do eventually get used to it. So if you're looking for a show which is historically accurate, has a cast of diverse and talented actors and a plot that will keep you engrossed from beginning to end then Borsha is my recommendation for you. The top spot on this list goes to Spartacus, an action filled historical TV series about a gladiator named Spartacus and his rise from a lowly slave to one of the most feared enemies of the Roman Republic. Spartacus takes everything that fans love about historical TV shows and puts it into overdrive as there's only 10 episodes per season meaning there's little to no filler. The small episode count results in Spartacus telling a tight knit story about an inspirational leader who encourages his followers to fight for a better future and put an end to the tyranny of Rome. So if you're looking for a TV show with great characters, amazing battle scenes and a story which hooks you in from the beginning to the very end then Spartacus is my recommendation for you and in my opinion a show that is arguably even better than The Last Kingdom. 
So please let me know in the comments down below if you agree with my recommendations and if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel History Spike as I post videos about historical TV shows and historical movies each and every week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.